Hi everyone, it's a rare video from me before I start. Um, I must apologise, I'm feeling a bit croaky, I'm recovering from a dose of Covid, so bear with me if I'm a bit froggy. Um, reason for the video is, last week ZBrush Pixelogic dropped ZBrush 2022, and in some of the um, videos and the, and the promos that they did for it, they showed us some very interesting bass relief tools that they've added. Uh, which I thought I should have a look at to see if I've still got a, a job uh, in the next six months or whether it's all it's all going to be automated. Um, those of you coming to the video who don't know who I am, I'm a, a bass relief uh, designer and modeler. I work mainly for coins but also for things like um, uh, bottles and memorials. Um, I've been doing this for 25 years, firstly at the British Royal Mint and then uh, freelance for the last 10 years or so. So I'm coming at this from the point of view of um, quite tight commercial bass relief modeling. So we're going to see whether these new tools are going to be a help or a hindrance or just automate the job completely. So what ZBrush have added is a facility to take in a full 3D model. I'm going to drop in a couple of 3D models here, just rough busts but you can see it's a it's a full 3d scene um, with a plate against the background this is the, the sort of template plate that I use for all my relief sculpting so what what we can now do is line these models up however you want them let's move one of them around a little bit shall we um, just for just for fun get them wherever you get them wherever you want them and then down here in the in the tool palette is a project bass relief button and when we hit that what it's going to do I turn these guys off is it's going to make a, a relief of the models we've had in front of it it projects them straight onto the, the flat background um, which is kind of interesting isn't it I mean looking at them now they're quite quite deep, um, probably much too deep, that's a out of a set edge on there, but I mean what we can do is drop down, um, play around with the with the size of those a bit, when you shallow them off, they suddenly become a lot more interesting, um, certainly as a, a basis for sculpting from. Um, so what you might be able to get out of this is a the opportunity to take things like a, a full 3D, let's try another scene, there we go, a full 3D scene. So we've got a TIE fighter and a, an X Wing. Line them up however you want them. And then hit the button. And the whole thing's there in relief. Again, I mean, it's a bit. It's pretty, pretty interesting. I mean, there's some artifacts there, but that they're in the they're in the model themselves. That's not the the projection. Um, there's a number of parameters here for uh, changing the way it treats the relief, uh, mostly to do with the, the the quality, the number of passes that ZBrush puts over the the model to turn turn it into a relief. That's basically a, a quality level. There's also uh, a kind of variation between um, high and low points, and a like a draft angle basically a, a sort of feathering off of the edge um, which is a bit nasty I'll probably leave that to a stage further down the further down the line what's kind of cool is that if I do if I project it straight from here straight on that's face on um, and you get exactly exactly what I've what you see let's remove that but if I move the whole scene, so I'm not I'm not moving the models, I'm just rotating through the scene, and then I hit the button again, I get a different view. So it seems to respond to the. It's a it's a kind of a projection thing. Um, so it's it's projecting from a viewpoint, which is really interesting. If we do, let's try that. It's even more extreme. Hit the button. 
turn them off and there they are in relief it comes in very very deep um, and quite thick but I think where it could come in handy is for creating um, base meshes certainly for portraits I think that could be very interesting indeed so yeah there we go so any full 3D model I mean base, base meshes for portraits um, certainly things like buildings vehicles plants animals any kind of scene that you can build you're then able to push into a a relief model um, that might not be ready to go but it's certainly going to be good enough to start with um, one of the other things I, I'm going to try and pair this up with for, an, for the next video is this thing that um, Facebook have been working on which is turning static photos into 3D models automatically and it's pretty pretty bizarre it's quite complicated but I, I've given it a go um, so that this this uh, nice picture here this awesome Superman that I picked off the internet um, ran that through the through the code and it came out with a I mean it is not it's not brilliant by any stretch but suddenly I mean it's not it's not lovely but I'm going to have a play with that because I think I think there's some some opportunities here to maybe take you know photos of people who are you know are no longer with us. Um, I did a project a few few months ago where I had to to make a profile portrait of somebody. There were only two or three photos of the guy in existence, and they were all sort of face on and three quarter on, and I had to to create a profile portrait from that. Something like this, you know, you make a, a 3D head from a an image and then rotate it to get the viewpoint you want which might be very very interesting so what I'm going to do I'm going to have, have a play with that um, come back and see if we can we can take this a, a step further I think there's there's definitely applications for this um, to speed up workflow and maybe create some interesting customization of, of scenes um, for example you know your Star Wars scene maybe you can offer products with different viewpoints of the same thing um, and it's relatively easy to to build those uh, without having to make a brand new model for each one that could be kind of cool if you're interested in what comes out of this um, then do hit a like or a subscribe and just follow it and I'll come back in a few days and see how we get on interesting <laughs>